Mark Rogers TV coming to you every Wednesday night with Alabama football talk, and we couldn't do it without Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama. So please join him right there. And also on his show that launched this past summer, the way it is, you can catch it on Fox 97.9. Stephen, how are you doing tonight? Doing well. Uh, trying to avoid the cold, not doing the best job of doing that, but it's it's football bowl season, one of the happier times of the year. The first couple of bowl games starting this Saturday, six bowl games this Saturday. So Capital One Bowl Mania. Excited about that. So when Stephen called in, we could agree on one thing instantly. We're both cold. It is cold in Alabama. It's cold here in Connecticut. Uh, probably two different levels of cold, I'm I mean, guessing. I mean, it, it, it's way colder where you are. <laughs> but colder. relative to our circumstances, relative to our expectations, it's like uh, talking college football and saying, did you have a good season? Well, it depends if you're talking to Nick Saban or are you talking to, uh, I don't know, you're talking to Derek Mason. Uh, those would be two different answers, depending on the circumstances, uh, depending on the expectations. So that's uh, similar to what it is here in Connecticut versus Alabama when we talk uh, winter and what we expect. Getting to the football field, Alabama Clemson Part 3, the trilogy. Can't wait for it. Uh, what a matchup that should be, uh, of course, at the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans on New Year's Day. We will hit that matchup here in a second before. We've got some recruiting news as well, as, of course, the early signing period is in place this year. So more recruiting news this time of year than at uh, any other time. And Alabama looking at two prime prospects that they've reeled in. On the defensive side of the ball, Mark, in the defensive backfield, the Crimson Tide signing four-star junior college cornerback or got a verbal commitment, as I should say, from four-star junior college cornerback Savion Smith. Uh, Savion, who attends Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, also a four-star four verbal commitment from the Dob Joseph who's out of the Florida area. So you get Nadab, Joseph, and Savion Smith, two big verbal commitments, especially with Alabama losing Minka Fitzpatrick, Ronnie Harrison, Levi Wallace, Tony Brown, Hootie Jones, and Anthony Averett. That's six defensive backs to the National Football League after this season. So in getting Joseph and Savion Smith, Derek Ansley, defensive back coach, super job by him on the recruiting trail. And uh, both of those guys to sign in the early signing period, as well as Cameron Leitu, uh, the linebacker, another guy that Alabama has verbally committed in the 2018 class. So Cameron Leitu, Savion Smith, Nadab Joseph, and if I'm not mistaken, not mistaken, punter Skyler DeLong. So those guys anticipate, among others, but those guys anticipate signing in this part of the signing class right here in December. Joseph is the 29th rated quarterback in America out of Miami Norland High School. And for Savion Smith, the number one rated cornerback out of the JUCO ranks, he had seven offers, five of those from the SEC, including uh, Texas Tech and South Florida, seven total offers for Savion Smith. 